Hi guys, Creative Laura here. Welcome. Oh, I'm super excited. I'm going to be <laughs> pickling some vegetables. Now, I'm just taking the easy way out. I've cut up some leftover veggies from my refrigerator. What's in my refrigerator kind of deal. I'll link that video up in the iCards and at the end of the video. Um, so, I just have some leftover brine. These were um, banana peppers from the Dollar Tree. Oh, I would say at least a year ago. And then this is leftover olive brine. Another one, both from the Dollar Tree. And they have the spices in there. So these are like ready to go. I know I'm gonna have to add to it. So I'm just going to add what I can fit in there as is. And then I have, um, some red wine vinegar on the standby. I can use regular vinegar too, which I have. And I have some spices. Um, let's see, we have ginger, 21 seasoning from Trader Joe's, and some crushed peppers, and some fennel seeds that I've had for a long time. I'll be putting, not fresh garlic, because I just don't have it, but already um, pickled garlic. And yeah, I've cut up, this is what I've cut up. One carrot, uh, about two and a half stalks of celery. Um, I think th two or three jalapenos, I can't remember. And basically one small red onion, I had two halves that were left. And you wanna slice them very, very thin. So what I'm gonna do is add what I can to each of these bottles, and then I have some bottles on standby, and I'm gonna be making some more brine, and um, I might show that in the part three, just so we can keep these videos moving along. I'm so excited. So let me add some more of the, um, like, um, what are they called? <laughs> More spices, basically, um, to it just so I can butter them up a little bit and make them even better. I thought I had dill, but I don't. I'm not a huge fan of dill, to be honest, but I thought I had it in a dried form. I don't have it. So that's okay. This is just going to be for my little stash in the refrigerator, and then I'll give some to my dad. I'll give him the new bottles, I think. All right, I'll be right back. Okay guys, so I put everything in. Actually, all the vegetables I had cut up that I showed you fit into this big bottle of brine. Um, it was probably filled to here with brine and then it covered everything. I mixed everything in. Let's see if I can put the light on it. It looks so good and it smells even better. I gotta smell it. Oh my gosh. It smells so delicious, so I cannot wait to eat that. These things are really a big, I'm like, my mouth is watering. <laughs> um, these things are like really big for me because I kind of grew up with pickled items like this, and in a lot of different cultures, they pickle a lot of everything, a lot of most things. And I think when we think of pickles in the US, we think of cucumbers, pickled, right? So. Um, anyways, you can pickle anything, but I just have this brine already ready. What I did add more of, I finally found some dill weed. I added that. I did add a little cilantro leaves. Um, I did a little ground ginger because it's an antiseptic also, and then the 21 seasoning. I put a little bit of crushed um, peppers in it red pepper, so it's a little bit of heat. I did a little bit of, sorry for my arm, fennel seeds, which has a licorice anisette taste to it. I already, oops, I put some fermented garlic because I'm out of fresh garlic. So that's one big, beautiful jar of veggies. Gosh, if I could tell you how it smells, if I could describe it, it smells, I, all I can think of is amazing. It's so good. So I still have that broth 
And I might combine the two and put them in a bigger jar just to help me along. Um, I still have more carrots, jalapenos, uh, carrots, or I already said that, celery. Um, yeah, I could just make another jar. So I think that's what I'm gonna do. I also made some extra broth on the side, which I added white vinegar, sugar, and, um, and what else? White vinegar, sugar, oh, and salt. Yeah, hello. <laughs> but I might add a little bit of um, red wine vinegar to it too. Oh, I'm so excited. So thank you to Ellen, um, Abundance Life on Less. I'll put the description, her link in the description box. And also to the Cooking Bomb. I'll put her description in the description box. I just, um, you know, I'm so excited because why, why didn't I think of this? Why didn't I think of pickling my leftovers, things that were starting to go bad or if I had abundant abundance of, yeah, so excited. All right, I'm gonna end it here for now. I might come back to show you what I do with the olive brine. I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm going a little crazy now with the pickling. <laughs> But I have so much like I could use up that I thought this is the perfect timing. And I'm so excited, I'm so excited. Okay, so I use half of a small red onion, some of my frozen um, bell peppers that I bought really, really cheaply, and I froze. Uh, one carrot, um, the rest of my celery. I Yes, I'm using celery because it kind of reminds me of kimchi. And then the two last bell peppers that I was gonna roast. Nope, forget that. And I'm gonna be adding the um, thinly sliced uh, yellow crookneck squash. So that will be really good. I, th I don't know if I should slice it in quarters. I think I should before I put it in because that will be really delicious. So I'm gonna add that. I have two three bottles here and let me turn the little light yeah um, I'm gonna be adding lemon again I have the brine I combined it from the two jars I added my spices already that's from the olive so I didn't add the garlic yet I will add but I added all the spices like dill cilantro ginger the 21 seasonings fennel the crushed belt or crushed red peppers and i have also on standby some white vinegar himalayan salt and some raw sugar and refined sugar so i ended up making three jars in total as you can see here and wow i'm telling you this was such a fun process and I'm gonna be making more. I'm so excited. Let me know in the comments below if you hung out with me this whole time, if you would be making this as well at home with your leftovers. Now I feel like I have some more yumminess in my refrigerator and I'll give, I'll probably keep the smaller ones um, and then give the larger one to my dad. Actually, I'll give the larger one to my dad and keep one for myself and then give one to my sister. So, as you can see, I'm just so super proud and happy. I lost some of the footage in between. That's why I'm doing a voiceover right now. And this is what I have left. But all I did was pour all the vegetables in the jars with the brine and the seasonings and just took a knife to the bottles and just kind of, you know, squished it all down. And you put them in the fridge for an hour and voila, they're done. Thank you guys. I will see you all later. Love you all. Bye-bye.